This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this week's edition of Veterinary Secrets, you're going to learn how to quickly stop your dog from coughing with seven natural remedies. <music> coughing in dogs has many causes, from kennel cough to heart disease. In this video, you're going to learn about the different types of cough and what you can do to go about diagnosing the most likely causing of your dog's cough. Then more importantly, I'm going to go over the top natural remedies that I use and you could be using at home to be treating your dog's cough. Your dog coughs because his airway is irritated by something. It could be inflammation, fluid, or infection. Kennel cough usually shows up as a sudden goose honking cough. It's very loud and usually continuous. Heart disease will produce a cough that often starts at night when your dog is lying down and it may be wet with fluid. This picture here is of a dog's heart. Tracheal collapse will produce a cough when the trachea, the main airway, is compressed together. It more often sounds like a gagging and that your dog is trying to throw up a hairball. The x-ray here is of a do dog's lungs and in the black arrow you can see where there's a very compressed opening and that is the compressed trachea or tracheal collapse. I just now wanted to show you an example of a dog coughing and I, I have my dog Jesse here. He, he has a mild condition called tracheal collapse where part of his airway collapses in on itself making him just more sensitive period, more likely to gag and regurgitate. So if your dog is coughing similar to Jesse where he's gagging and then seemingly like he's retching something up such as cuffing up a hairball that that's more typical of tracheal collapse if the coughing is more prolonged similar to that but even more forceful that going throughout the day and it's happened and started all of a sudden then more likely we're dealing with something like kennel cough whereas in if it's more of a wet sounding cough that typically happens when your dog lays down or at night and in the morning, that's much more common with the cough that we see in heart disease. Okay. Visit your veterinarian if your pet is acting ill, weak, being reluctant to exercise, eat or drink. In a small percent of cases, kennel cough can progress to pneumonia, requiring antibiotics. In heart disease, some type of treatment is needed to reduce the size of the heart and reduce the fluid in the airways. Humidifier. Adding humidity to the air will calm an irritated airway. You can put on a humidifier in your pet's room or put your pet in the bathroom and turn on the shower. Get the collar off. Any irritated airway will benefit from having less pressure put on it. Remove your dog's collar and use a harness for restraint. Avoid putting any pressure on your dog's throat especially in chronic coughing cases, such as in tracheal collapse. Herbal help. There's a number of different herbs that can help with coughing dogs. In cases of kennel cough, stimulating the immune system can speed recovery. Two herbs I like are echinacea and golden seal. Um, they both have antiviral and antibacterial properties. Tinks or doses are one drop per pound of body weight, twice daily. Licorice root is an effective cough suppressant, um, but it's something you don't want to use any longer than five days, and don't use it long term or cautiously, especially if there's underlying liver, kidney, or heart disease. The licorice root tinks your dose as one drop per pound of body weight twice daily. Dandelion, it's a wonderful overlooked herb, it can be beneficial for a number of things, including fluid and coughing in the airways. The leaves act as a diuretic, helping to remove the excess fluid. Um, and dandelion is the safest diuretic herb. Uh, the dose would be two drops per pound of the body weight twice daily of the tincture. There are two homeopathics that can be helpful, belladonna and pulsatilla. Belladonna is used with a dry cough with a dose using a 30C dose three to four times a day. Pulsatilla is used for a cough that is a dry night, but often loose or productive in the morning. Its dose is a 30C concentration, given up to three times a day. The last remedy I want to discuss for naturally treating your dog's cough at home is by making a natural cough syrup. 
So what I do and what I would advise you doing um, is picking up some honey, preferably a, a bit of a darker honey. Um, here I've got some concentrated lemon juice and a little bit of warm water. So all I'm doing is I'm taking through one tablespoon for 20 or 30 pounds of dog. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of honey into some of this warm water, which I've got here. I'll take, because it's just one tablespoon, I'm going to take a half a teaspoon, a little bit more than that, of lemon juice. So it's about a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of honey, or you can double that recipe for a larger dog. Mix that up with some warm water. So there you've got it nice and concentrated. Wonderful cough remedy. I use it on myself, my kids as well. Mix it up so the honey is fully diluted. <clears throat> the honey itself has a whole host of wonderful antibacterial, antiviral properties, as well as being especially soothing, soothing to the throat. I'm just going to draw some of that up here in a syringe with this warm water. And we're just going to give Jess, Jesse a little treatment of it. Oh, Jesse. Mm. So there it is. Lemon and honey and warm water as a natural cough treatment. Watching this week's edition of Veterinary Secrets. What I want you to do right now is click the link, that link in the box below, and I'll be sending you my free book and videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.